The most anticipated car launch of 2018 has got to be this guy right here, the Proton X70. The first car to come into reality after Proton and Giulio Otto formed their new partnership in 2017. It is also our national car maker's first ever SUV, and today we're going to find out whether it's this car for you. This car review is brought to you by Bosch. There are four variants of the X70 available, starting from the entry-level standard two-wheel drive to this premium two-wheel drive that we have here today, finished in this glistering cinnamon brown paintwork. Now, I took the effort to highlight its colour because the metallic flex of the paint job under the sunshine is absolutely gorgeous. I prefer how the car looks at the front compared to the rear because the front fascia is very simple, clean and mature. Certainly, it will stand the test of time better than some of its rivals with extravagant and complicated designs. I love what Proton's in-house design team has done to add their own unique touch to the front grille. These interlocking weaves were inspired by batik and traditional Malaysian wood carvings. The grille is also laid out to resemble a bow. Don't you love it when there are stories behind designs? There are also little details at the front that can only be appreciated up close, such as this Proton inscription in the LED headlamps just like any other Proton models, those air curtains that channel air through the wheel wells, as well as how the cornering lights operate on the X70. Usually, cornering lights work by illuminating in the direction the car is pointed towards, but on the X70, both fog lamps will light up no matter which direction you turn. And also, if you activate your turn signals below 40 km per hour, it will also activate the fog lamps. One thing I'm really glad that Proton has done is to introduce these 19-inch 5 tri-spoke alloys in gunmetal finish. Yes, those 225-55 R19 profile tyres will be a bit pricier to replace, but it looks miles better than the 5 twin-spoke 18-inch items on the executive variants. One thing I'm not a fan though, is this TGDI badging on the side. I feel that it interrupts the clean body lines of the car. These roof rails give the car the rugged SUV look, but I want to draw your attention to this floating effect on the C pillars. It kind of reminds me of a Range Rover Evoque. Do you think so? Or am I just seeing things? I've mentioned that I'm not a fan of the rear and it's because of these high position LED tail lamps. It makes the car look a little bit bulkier than it should. What I do like is this satin proton garnish across the tailgate and this neat rear bumper with dual hexagonal exhaust outlets. They are not connected to the actual exhaust by the way. Unfortunately, none of the X70 comes with a powered tailgate, even on this top-spec premium variant. And to make matters worse, its high load lip makes loading heavier items a bit of a chore. Luckily, it has quite a flat boot floor, so sliding items in and out is quite easy. Actual space is actually quite limited if you plan to use a tonneau cover to hide your belongings from prying eyes. But if you plan to carry larger items, you can always fold the rear seats down. As demonstrated in our previous video, the tonneau cover can be attached down here and be used this way up to prevent loose items from falling out the boot. Stepping inside the X70 and you'll be immediately blown away by the cabin design and quality. Everything is in a different league compared to Proton models of old. Everything is well put together and have a very satisfying tactile feel to it. The amount of goodies you get in this premium variant is unbelievable. For just 123,000 ringgit, you get panoramic sunroof, Napa leather upholstery, 9-speaker Kenwood premium audio sound system, 360-degree camera and a powered function for the passenger seat. But that's not to say that only the most expensive variant gets all the bells and whistles because items such as this 7-inch LCD instrument cluster, leather wrap multifunctional steering wheel, dual-zone automatic climate control with air ionizer, electronic parking brake, and 8-inch GKUI infotainment system are standard across all four variants. Speaking of the GKUI infotainment system, it comes with an intelligent voice command system that's kind of like your in-car personal assistant. It can tell you the time, the weather, and even control the main functions of the car just by saying the prompt, Hi Proton. Tell me. Open driver's side windows. Open the window driver's side. Close driver's side window. Okay, closing the driver's side window. Now, voice command is really not all that special because most modern smartphones and cars already have this feature built in. But what's impressive about this GKUI system in particular is that it has been programmed to pick up Malaysian accent. And to demonstrate, I've asked some of our Malaysian friends to show you what I mean. Hi Proton, 
Hai Proton ah. Alamak, uh, ah hai Proton. How may I help you? Open driver side window. Okay, Open. yeah, it work, it work, it work. Can you close all the windows? Wow. Okay. Uh, I want to see the sky. Okay, opening sunroof. Oh. Can you tell me it if it will rain tomorrow or not or sun or rainbow? Tell me what's going on tomorrow. No, there won't be any rain tomorrow. <laughs> Bring me somewhere to eat. I'm hungry. More than one results found nearby. Wow! Asa nak jiwang lah pula hari ni. Kenapa hari ni? Haa. Hai Proton. Here I am. Uh, can you play Siti Nur Haliza? Ah. What is the time? Tell me the time. It is 15:28. Yeah, then it tells you the time even with this thick Indian accent. Then again, like only Indian people are late for this, so it works. It works. Wow. Thank you. Ah, uh, terima kasih. Directions to where? Terima kasih. Bukan direction. Impressive, eh? Seated back here, I have the front passenger seat adjusted to a very, very comfortable position and look at the amount of knee room that I still have. The near flat floor also frees up a lot of space in the foot well. But if I ever need more space at the back, I can always flick the boss switch to push the front passenger seat away from me. Having all said and done, here are some of the things that you might not know about the Proton X70. While Proton advertised the X70 to have 6 USB ports with one behind the rear view mirror, the one in the center armrest is for infotainment connectivity. The other five are USB charging ports. Besides switching color themes when you select the three different drive modes, you can also choose to have the speedometer or ref counter as the main display here in the instrument cluster theme settings. When you pull out the 360 degree camera, you can show an augmented reality projection of the X70 surrounding. And what's even better is you can continue to drive up to 15 km per hour with this display. Super helpful when you're driving on difficult terrains. You can independently alter the steering response between normal or sport in the advanced driver assistance system menu at speeds of below 15 km per hour. And the steering setting does not change even when you move between the different drive modes. There's a window ventilation mode in the door lock setting that drops all the windows down just by a bit whenever you lock the car. To put the windows back up, simply tap the car again. But to be honest, I feel that this is just a gimmick because nobody's gonna leave their car with the windows down in public. How does Proton's first ever SUV drive? In a nutshell, unlike any other Proton models that came before. Let's start with the powertrain. The 1.8 litre turbocharged 4 cylinder petrol engine pushes out 183 horsepower and 285 Nm of torque. And that makes the X70 one of the most powerful petrol powered cars in the segment. It has 10 horsepower lesser than a Honda CR-V's VTEC Turbo, but has over 40 Nm more than a Honda. But does it feel punchier than a Honda? Not quite. Because peak torque kicks in at 1,700 RPM, but very quickly tapers off at 4,400 RPM. And the engine still has to climb all the way up to the red line of 6,000 RPM. Tipping the scale at 1.7 tons, the X70 weighs almost 200 kgs more than its closest rivals, the CRV and the Mazda CX-5. And that does not help with acceleration times because the 1.8 litre TGDI engine will sprint from 0 to 100 about the same time as a Mazda CX-5 2 litre. Don't get me wrong, it will still take you up to triple digit speeds without breaking a sweat, but it will do it in a much more relaxed manner. What it lacks in outright punch, the X70's 6 speed automatic transmission makes up for it in refinement. Shift quality is smooth and seamless. The transmission mapping is also very clever in picking the right gear for the fine balance between performance and refinement. I'll admit, the 6 speed automatic transmission is not the quickest in the business, but I wouldn't want it any other way. The suspension is also very obviously set up for upright comfort because the way these things filter out undulation makes it feel like I'm driving on a layer of pillows. All the road imperfections are absorbed by the suspension very nicely, but if anything gets transmitted through the cabin, you know you've hit something big. I've mentioned that I prefer the larger 90-inch wheel design, but the slight trade-off is the 225-55 profile tyres doesn't quite round off the sharper edges all that well. 
But in all fairness, this car's ride quality is top notch. Let's face it, if you're looking at a family SUV like this to have sports car handling, you really need to recalibrate your expectations because this car is anything but sporty. The steering rack is a little bit slow but that makes highway journeys a lot less tiring and it complements the car's comfort-oriented setup beautifully. Gently guide the car through a bend and you'll be rewarded by a smooth entry and exit. You can change the steering to sport mode but I wouldn't bother if I were you because sports mode artificially adds weight to the steering wheel and doesn't gel well with the car's character. Cabin insulation of the X70 is seriously impressive thanks to generous use of insulation materials. I mean, even the engine bay is fully covered to cut down engine noise. This premium variant comes with the advanced driver assistance systems which adds forward collision warning, autonomous emergency braking, lane departure warning, as well as blind spot monitoring system. Let's start with the adaptive cruise control because it is a very well calibrated system. The way it slows down and regains speed is very very progressive. It doesn't rock you back and forth when accelerating or braking. One thing to note that the autonomous emergency braking only operates below 30 km per hour, so don't go around taking unnecessary risk on the highway. At this point, I'm struggling to find faults with the X70 because as a package, the car is seriously, seriously impressive. But looking at things in isolation, there are some things that I want to nitpick. For starters, the seating position of the X70 is relatively high. I can't quite find a laid-back, relaxed seating posture because I'm just seated so high up. The Bluetooth phone call transmission is not the clearest out there. I had to repeat myself multiple times to get my message across. Next, the side mirrors are huge. It creates quite a blind spot when I'm entering a roundabout or exiting a junction. Weirdly, I find myself having to manually activate the blind spot monitoring system every single time I get into the car. I wonder what's the logic behind this or whether is this just a software bug. But in all fairness, the X70 is a very impressive car. As a whole, nothing in its price nor segment comes close to the amount of features and sophistication the X70 offers. Well done Proton. Very well done. So is this car for you? Well, if you're looking for a sporty handling SUV that makes you feel connected to the road behind the wheel, then probably not. But if you're looking for a comfortable, sophisticated, high-tech and the best bang for your buck SUV, then yes. For more information of the all-new Proton S70, do log on to autobus.my. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below. Click the bell icon next to it to get notifications whenever we upload a new video. This car review is brought to you by Bosch. Those on automatic climate control with air ionite. For more information of the all new Proton X70, do log on to that motorcycle there. Because the 1.8 kg. <laughs> and to put the windows back up. <laughs>